Hey, hey, so we're doing this. We are live. I, I made it. I, I, I shifted platforms from YouTube. I, I entered the realm of Twitch. <laughs> been, wait, been waiting forever. I know, man. Um, <laughs> uh, Prepare for one-time MCU reaction. Yeah, so when it comes to the MCU, some people, some people watched all the MCU reactions. I highlighted it in Iron Man 3, the reason why I haven't seen these movies yet, along with a bunch of other movies. I actually, I got this cool little thing. It's like a wheel that pops up, and I loaded up with a bunch of movies that I was going to watch throughout the weeks and months. And I figured I'll just roll the wheel today, and whatever movie it lands on, that'll be the next movie I watch. Um, but yeah, when it comes to Marvel movies, I kind of dodged and weaved um the first phase of movies i wanted to get into watching the mcu movies at one point but it was kind of overwhelming and then there was so much hype when when endgame came out the last one that i was like all right you know what i'm gonna sit down i'm gonna watch these movies and when i sat down and there was over 20 movies i was like there's no way i don't even watch movies and you want me to watch 20 of them that's crazy um so last year in may a youtuber told me he was like yo you need to just sit down and watch these videos and and edit them and throw them up on YouTube because they'll be freaking awesome because people want to see that. I'm like, dude, no, that seems like a lot of effort, a lot of work. And I wasn't really used to editing. I never edited before. So the more I started doing my comic book content, because I was just getting back into comic books after years of not reading. And I started getting more used to editing, using a camera and stuff like that. So I was like, all right, you know what? Start of 2020, I'm going to start watching the Marvel videos, and it, it seems like a few of you guys enjoy them, so I am very happy for that, because <laughs> uh, they, they do take quite a while to make. So, in and, and this and this kind of live stream, I guess, it's going to be more of a hangout and, and seeing content that I wouldn't normally play on YouTube, like watching all the trailers. Um, I, I watched the end credit scenes for Phase 1, the ones that I missed, because I didn't even know there was end credit scenes at the end of those movies. Yeah, no, so when it comes to phase one, I, so so far for all the Marvel videos, I haven't watched any trailers. So I want to go ahead and, and dive into phase two, because I already watched phase two. I talked about phase two, probably not as in-depth. I did a live stream after Civil War, where I brought some buddies from the comic book community on, and we, we, discussed, fa uh, we discussed Civil War, which was the first one in phase three, and... They gave me a little bit of insight because they actually read the comic. I don't read a lot of Marvel books. Um, I, I know we got, like, the Marvel posters over here, which, I mean, this is DC, and, th and that's DC, and that's Image. But, like, the three Marvel ones, those are gifts. Um, and I'm not going to say no to, like, comic book shit. I'm going to throw that shit on the wall, you know? I, I, honestly, anything anyone says to me, I'm going to throw on the wall because that's insane that anyone would send me anything. Like like this, this, this just came. I watched the Alien movie, and a community member sent me Alien vs. Predator, the first appearance. I'm like, this is insane. <laughs> but... I'm going to go ahead and dive into watching the trailers for the first time. Because I, I kind of want to understand, do they actually spoil the movies? And, and I just kind of want, want to see what they crafted together to get people hyped to watch these films. Um, so we're going we're gonna to dive into that. And then somebody, I, I know Doctor Strange is the next MCU movie on my list. Somebody told me that don't watch the trailers for Phase 3 except for Endgame and Infinity War. Infinity War. I hope I said that right. But I'm not sure if I should. So if there's anyone that can let me know, let me know. <laughs> How do I do this? Switch scenes. All right. Boom. Bada bing. All right. So now you guys can see me. You guys can see my web browser I have opened up. Um, and we're going to go ahead. Look, that's my thumbnail. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead. And, and what was the first movie in phase three? It started off with Iron Man 3. Um, Iron Man 3 trailer. I guess the one. Like the first trailer. Right? Official trailer seven years ago. Let's see. Marvel Entertainment. Uh, Median Cows, Marvel UK. I'm going to go ahead and go with Marvel Entertainment. That seems like the legitimate official Marvel 3 trailer. Uh, I'm going to make sure my, my desktop audio is on before I, I continue, which it's not, which is great. Uh, now you guys can hear. <laughs> um, let's see. Don't watch any of the trailers ahead of time. Good input. Um, it, it is 1000% a better experience going in blind, which is what I've been doing. And I've been kind of liking that. Like I just last night. So I got two movies cooking up in the back burner. I'll let you guys know. I watched, um, star Wars, a new hope or IV or four, which is like the Roman numerals, which was, that was kind of dope. Um, I'm having such a problem editing that movie because I don't want to make it multiple parts. I just want to make it one like 15 minute movie, but it's like, there's so much content. I'm trying to like take so much out. Um, but I think I'm going to upload the full thing for the Patreons. And then I did John Carpenter's The Thing, which is like a horror movie, which blew my mind away. I didn't think I could see some crazy stuff. Like, I, I thought 
I got to the age where like things weren't going to impress me when it comes to stuff like that, like horrorish special effect. It blew my mind away. Um, so I, I got those cooking up that they should be coming out later this week, hopefully. Um, and then I'm going to watch today is Tuesday. So Wednesday night, I'm going to watch Doctor Strange. So that should be a treat. Uh, what up, homie? What's up, man? Uh, all right. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to dive into. Um, let's see. Marvel's Iron Man 3 domestic trailer from 2012. What was I doing in 2012? I graduated high school in 2011. Oh, I had just moved back into my mom's house with my son, my newborn. So I just had my first kid. Yeah, man. Time flies, man. Yeah, this guy. This guy has a little a little baby me. Actually, has my exact same name. <laughs> uh, let's see. You're on to Star Wars now. I can't wait uh, until you get to Empire Strikes Back. It's on my top five of all time. Yeah, you know, I, I keep getting people telling me to watch like Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, all these big franchises. And I'm like, if I could literally watch everything in like a 24-hour period and just get it out for you guys, I would. I don't like to drag things out. Like people were, people were happy that I dropped Civil War Part 1, 2, and 3, like all within like back to back i was like that's how i wanted it i don't i don't understand why people drop like part one on friday and then part two next friday no just drop it all together let someone binge watch it you know that's how you watch a movie right all right the following preview has been approved for the appropriate audiences and we are appropriate all right is there sound not yet but we're getting there here we go let me know if you guys can hear this okay that's when he fell from the sky used to make Nothing's been the same since New York. That's when he tested the, uh... The experienced things. The terrorists. And then they no come for him. I can't sleep. The Mandarin. And when I do, I have nightmares. Honestly, there's a hundred people who want to kill me. I hope I can protect the one thing I can't live without. Pepper Potts. Ooh. This summer. That was crazy how he blew up all of them. Ladies. People call me a terrorist. I consider myself a teacher. Lesson number one. Heroes. There is no such thing. mansion just dropping on top of you oh that's cool how they made the light go out because that kind of like that kind of plays into oh okay this is when he was dragging the suit i had such a gripe with that may of 2013 yeah no i had such a gripe with him falling out of the sky in the middle of winter like he already got his ass beat right he was unconscious he fell out the sky the suit opened up and then he just dragged the suit in the winter and found like this magical cabin that this kid had the perfect the perfect tools that he needed. Like I get it, it's a movie, but it still felt a little like I don't know, like uh weird. Um but I, I mean I guess it sets up. This was a cool point uh in the movie when he was like he was telling the Mandalorian, like, yo, come for me. I don't give a shit. Here's my address, pull up. And then they pulled up. Then they pulled up and they blew his fucking house away. That was insane. That was kind of crazy. Um, yeah, so this was like the main villain, the the main bad guy. But it, it, half the movie made it seem like it was the other guy until we found out he was just an actor. I don't know, man. I, it, it, let's see. Uh, uh, this trailer still impresses me. The trailer is great. The trailer looks cool. I like how they, they pulled a lot from this scene of this damn house just falling on Tony. Like the helicopter, the, and they're news helicopters, so like they kind of blend in like camouflage because they're like, oh, Tony Stark taunted this major terrorist, and now the news are coming to like watch his house, but not really. Then they open up and they just start shooting out missiles. Like, wow! And you definitely see the side effects of the emotion between like the PTSD that he had dealing with aliens. Cause he's like, yo, he's this normal guy. He he's, he just made the, this crazy suit and he's becoming a super hero in a way, a superhuman mega human. And 
And then there's aliens. And it's like, kind of like, uh, that's, the party, pal. thanks for following. It's insane. It really is crazy. And it, it, you really see that starting to affect him. And then, I mean, we already fast forward because I'm up to Civil War. There's problems. Like, it's super rocky between him and Pepper Potts. Now, I'm not sure. Someone said in my comment section that her contract, I think her name is Gwen, Gwyneth Paltrow. Her contract ended. And they didn't renew it for the movie, which is why they didn't feature her in the movie. But it's more or less they're trying to play on the emotional stress of being a superhero. And she's running a multi-billion dollar corporation at the same time. And then dealing with her husband who's going out and like life and death situation every other day. Oh, man. Did anyone else like this trailer? Let me see. Iron Man 3 is such a letdown. A little well, what's up? Um, I think Iron Man 3 is better than Iron Man 2. There were some key points in Iron Man 2 I liked, but I think Iron Man 3 was a, a tad bit um, better. I, I didn't like the ending. I mean, they, they highlighted in the trailer, right? They highlighted where it was in the trailer. Tony going into surgery and, and removing the... What is that thing called in, in his chest? The, the I don't want to call it the light bulb in his chest, but you know what I mean. The the the, the circle thing he's got in test. I, I can't even find it in the trailer right now. I want to watch the whole thing again. Like they they show him going under in the respirator, like they're gonna they're they're gonna knock him out and they're gonna remove this thing, and then like at the end of the movie they like rushed it all, like they're like, oh, we got this out, and by the way, we took away Pepper Potts' powers, and and all these things happened at like the very like two minutes end of the movie, which I got it, they got a fit in story, right? Um, but I don't know, I felt like maybe it could have been flushed out a little bit better. I, I heard a lot of people had gripes with the villain. I don't really, it doesn't really matter to me. Um, he was just another bad guy. You know, that someone raised the question that the villains in these movies seem to be kind of lackluster. And I feel like that kind of might be true in a way. I know I know I know there's Thanos and he's like the, the ultimate badass. Um But I'm trying to think like so far, like in in these movies. I mean, Loki's been been pretty pretty good. And then we had Civil War. We had this guy, I, I can't even remember his name. The like the master chess player. Um I don't know, but he won. Like at the end of the day, like the movie, like he won. Like he got arrested, whatever, by Black Panther, but he won. Like he internally destroyed the Avengers, and now they're all like against each other, like on the run. Uh, let's see, Perry watched the one shots. Oh, I will get to those. Uh, by the ending twist was a, but the ending twist was a letdown. Yeah, you know, uh, Pepper Potts is stronger than than Tony. Like saves his life. I, I mean, I'm not mad at it. I don't mind seeing like a strong female superhero, but like. They just like pulled her out of thin air, <laughs> you know. Like uh, there was really no build up for me. Like maybe if it was like a whole movie, seeing her like develop into this thing, and then like I don't know, man. That's just me, I guess. And there was like inaccuracies with with some like ah oh, man. Let me let me not get started. Uh, this movie has so much emotion. The, the movie the movie does have emotion in it. I, I will give it that. Uh, see, Iron Man three is, is one of my favorites. People hate the twist. Uh, I I love it. Hey man, oh, oh Zenmo, yeah, Zenmo was the villain in uh, in Civil War, which I I, I didn't because I don't I don't read Marvel comics, so I had uh, my live stream on Saturday and John actually has like his first appearance and he was showing it to me and he looks nothing like the guy in, in the in the movie, which is perfectly fine, um, but that's cool that they were able to like draw out a character because the Mandarin I, I don't think is a comic book creation, it was just like a movie universe, which I feel like you know like this is a completely separate universe from the comics, it's the the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And not the the comic book universe, but it's awesome that they're pulling out so many elements and paying homage to these comic book creators, which is awesome. Uh, it's pronounced Zemo, not Zemo, Zemo, right? I said it right, Zemo. <laughs> uh, the first villain who actually won. Facts, yes, one hundred thousand percent. So far, I I don't know what's what's to come. Um, I, I wonder if there's an Iron Man two trailer. Let me type in two at the top. Uh, I feel like this one wasn't too spoilery. Spoilery, like they, I mean, they have to show things from inside of the movie, but they 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 had a really big clip of the entire building falling on Tony. But no, it wasn't it wasn't too spoilery. It, it definitely it definitely would get me interested if I was about to go to the movies and I seen that I was like, all right, dude, I need to, I need to know what the hell is going down. Uh, so this is Iron Man 3's domestic trailer number two official, uh, and this is Joe Blow movie trailers let's not go with joe blow let's go with the marvel entertainment right, let's make this full screen real quick and let's dive in Ooh, i'm tony stark how you doing tony i build neat stuff 
I got a great girl. Facts. And occasionally, save the world. Very true. So I can't I sleep. She's going through that, like, you were that PTSD. A single platform. That's why you can't sleep. I will defend this country at all costs. That was crazy, the paint job they put on him. I was like, oh no. Be stopped. You don't know who I am. You'll never see me coming. What are you going to do about these attacks? The whole world's going to be watching. The question, where is Tony <laughs> The Stark? flip phone. Things are different now. I have to protect the one thing that I can't live without. That's you. And you wind up losing her too, Mr. Stark. Today is the first day. Look at that. That was left of your life. The choice. Do you want an empty life or a meaningful death? You're not a man. You're nothing more than a maniac. I'm not afraid of you. No politics here. Just good old fashioned revenge. That was, that was dope. We do need backup. That's your department. I mean, that's kind of spoilery right there, dude. My boy. That's kind of fucked up. I mean, that that was that was that was pretty cool. I I like, I like that trailer a little bit more than the other one. Um, it, it kind of like emphasized the exact same thing about. Like the Mandarin and attacking his home. It, it kind of made it look like the terrorists were responsible for blowing up his suits and not himself. Um, which I thought was kind of neat. Like they kind of they, they painted this picture here of here here comes a terrorist about to blow him up right here. And then you see the suits blowing up, like, okay, they're the ones who blew the suits up when in turn it was it was him, right? He was the one who destroyed all of his suits and he wanted to start from scratch all over again. I mean, yeah, no, this, 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 I felt like spoiled a little, a little bit, a lot, like a, like a lot. Like it shows, it shows her at the end, like uh, it was superpower pepper pots, like turning back at you. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of happy. I didn't see this because <laughs> that was, that was a dope part when you, when you seen like the two suits and then you seen like the whole army, the whole gang pulling up behind him. And I was like, Oh shit. And then you got, um, what, what's it called? You got, uh, where, where is this at? Let me see if I can find this part right here. This is the, uh, hmm. That was a cool part too when he broke out. That that was dope. Ooh, where is it at? It's the part where he's um. This part. They showed this part in both the trailers, but it was this was such a, like a quick, like snippet at the end. That I feel like you could have completely missed if you didn't really pay attention because they didn't really spend too much time on this at all. Like if I was watching the movie and I would have got a text and I would have looked at my phone real quick, and then I would have looked back, I probably would have missed this part. But maybe they didn't have to emphasize this so much. But it, it seems like they were going to. Uh, I don't know. It, it was pretty good. I, I, I like the trailer. It, it definitely was spoilery. I, I definitely, yeah, I definitely don't want to watch any trailers because like, the first one was like, all right, it left me with a little bit of mystery. They should have just left it as that. I, I mean, I guess like marketing, right? They got to get people super excited. But I mean, it's a Marvel movie. People are already getting excited. Um, let me jump in the chat real quick. Um, Hey, Perry, will you make this stream be available to watch later? I missed the first 30 minutes. Now, um, Twitch has a video on demand service. I'm not sure if it's going to save it because um, <laughs> I'm not saving it because um, <laughs> it's not. Um, my, my computer can't stream and record at the same time. Um, it, it doesn't have that capability. It's like it's like it has half a lung and it's like <laughs> you're lucky you're getting this. Um, so if Twitch is actually doing the VOD like it's supposed to do, which is what I read online that it does for like 14 days. I will go in and I will record that VOD or download it and I'll try to upload it to my YouTube channel and try to cut out a lot of, or maybe I put black bars over the the trailers so it doesn't get like blocked on YouTube. So maybe I'll try to do something like that. Um, 
Let's see. Yeah, Iron Man 3 was my least favorite simply because I thought it was getting the actual uh, Mandarin. Uh, and then we didn't get the actual Mandarin. So disappointed. Uh, although they kept saying uh, the Ten Rings and the real Mandarin is still something like that could happen. Um, this is a good part of the Endgame. Uh, that's the good part of the Endgame trailer. They only show scenes for the first 30 minutes of the movie. Ooh, that's cool. You see, that's what they should do. Like highlight like the first act of the movie or not even the first act, like the first, the first, the first like introduction of the movie. So that way you're like, oh, because when I watch a movie and I see a trailer for a movie, I'm always waiting for that one part of the movie. Like, like, oh, I know this guy dies. I got to wait. Look, all right, is he going to die now? No. Is he going to die now? So if they were to only highlight the, the beginning of the movie, you would get all that out and then it would just all be completely fresh content. That's kind of cool. I like, I like that. I didn't know that. Uh, I can't say any spoilers. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> uh, I feel like Iron Man three gets a lot of hate, but some people think it's the worst MCU film. But Iron Man two seems to be the worst. I gotta, I gotta agree with you on that. I'm not the biggest fan of Iron Man two. Iron Man three, I might rewatch. Like if my kids were like, "Hey, I want to watch an Iron Man movie," and we already seen the first one, I'd be like, "All right, let's watch Iron Man three um, before I watch Iron Man 2. <laughs> I try going onto it. I don't, I don't understand it. Um, it seems like a lot of vomit. Like on the homepage, like I'm trying to like, all right, follow a bunch of people, and I'm trying to see everything, and it's just like the most random thing behind the most random thing behind the most random thing. And it's like, I don't, I don't understand the organization. Maybe I need to spend more time on that. Uh, let's see, but Thor people, uh, yeah, Thor two. Hmm. That's the next movie, right? That's the next and phase two. That's the second movie to watch. Is that right? Hold on. MCU phase two order. I think that's Iron Man three and then Thor, the, the dark world. I always say the dark brotherhood. I feel like that's a better name anyway. Um, Thor, the Dark World trailer one, because they always drop multiple trailers. Uh, let's see. Perry, watch the the one shots. We will see what happened to the uh, fake Mandarin. Uh, I have to say the the trailer soundtrack and MCU is um is epic. Uh, yeah. So the one shots. Where are the where are the one shots located? Are they on like the Disney app or is it like on v Vimo? I know that was the other like website for stuff like videos v vimo or something something like that ah, sorry i'm parched i do appreciate everyone hanging out with me today it's uh it's fun um let's see we have a uh, i'm so like not used to like this whole interface uh it says we have 26 view viewers so that's awesome dude 26 people hanging out with me man um once again, I will have Doctor Strange out Friday. I will do my absolute best to have it out in one part so I don't have to, like, stretch it out so many times. Um, let's see. All right. So Thor The Dark Brotherhood official trailer six years ago. I'm going to go with this one. All right. That seems to be, like, the, the first one. After all this time, now you come to visit me, brother. Oh yeah, Yoki's yoked, uh, he's yoked up in monk. jail. I need your help. But I wish I could trust you. If you did, you'd be the fool I always took you for. Oh, never trust Loki. Some believe that before the universe, there was nothing. They're wrong. There was darkness, and it has survived. Wow. What's gonna happen? Way to put the ending in the movie in the, the first trailer. I gave you my word. <laughs> I would return for you. Wow. Welcome Thanks, to the party, pal. Thanks for the follow. Known only to a few. Known only to one. You must be truly desperate to come to me for help. If we do nothing, they will destroy us. You even think about betraying him. I'll oh. kill you. Lady Sif. That was from New York. I like her. It's November. Thor, your bravery will not ease your pain. Your family. That was your crazy. I didn't think his mom was going to die. Dude. Extinguished. Running out of time. The very fabric of reality can be torn apart. I'll find a way to save us all. Thor, 
the Dark World. <laughs> All yours. Like nothing. Anyone else? All right, that 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 ending scene was cool because that was like in the beginning of the movie. That that reminded me exactly of Troy when you got Achilles going against the, like that big guy, and he just he just jogs up and then starts to sprint and goes up, hits him one time and bounces. That's what that felt like to me. Like everyone's standing around and watching. Um, yeah, when it comes to Thor: The Dark Brotherhood, this trailer, it, I feel like watching the movie, you realize that they put a lot of like spoilers into it. But like this scene right here, like where you see uh, Yoki, uh, Yoki, <laughs> you see Loki in the in the jail cell. He's actually like like sitting in the corner down here, and he's like, "This is all just an illusion, I guess." Um, yeah, dude, he's such a dick, dude. He he he. When he looked at that guy, that guy who was, party, thanks for the follow. When he looked at that guy, that guy who escaped and he was walking out, and he looked at him, he's like, "Hey, go up the stairs and turn left." That's the guy who eventually went up the stairs, turned left, and then killed his mother. I'm like, damn, dude. So you're literally respond. I mean, I, I guess you know she's not your mom, dude, but she's kind of is your mom, you know. At the same time, um, yeah, there, there was so much that happened in this movie, but not really. Um, I don't know this this quirky guy with his his relationship with the with with Shorty right here behind him. Um, I don't even know. She looks familiar. I'm not sure if she what movie she's from, but I've definitely seen her before. Um, she reminds me of uh, Wednesday from <laughs> from Adam's family. Uh, let me see what the uh, what the what the what the checks had going on. Uh, let's see. Uh, especially the Black Widow uh, soundtrack. I love it. Uh, Thor: The Dark World has such amazing trailer. It disappoints me when I saw the movie. Uh, Thor The Dark World isn't that bad of a movie, though. It's not a bad movie. I, I know, like, a lot of people don't like it. I'm trying to remember <laughs> shit. Uh, it, it kind of, besides The Avengers, because The Avengers gave us, like, our first taste of outer space. Like, they opened up the wormhole in, in, the wormhole in New York City, and we got Tony going into space. And that was kind of like, that I, that I can recall, the first time we, we, we get intergalactic space type of event. And then in this one, we got Thor in Asgard, and he's going into another planet, like the tra and then and then you're seeing them go shifting in in between worlds and certain points, like when she was in that in that building, and they were dropping like the stuff, and it was falling down, and then it just disappeared. That's like I guess like showing that all right, this this universe is about to expand, and it's not going to be the typical. All right, we're fighting in New York, we're fighting in London, we're fighting in Paris. Now, now shit's gonna start getting crazy because I think the movie that came after this was Guardians, if I'm not mistaken, which it kind of like set up the all right, we're gonna go, we're gonna go intergalactic. Um, so I mean, I guess I don't know. That's it wasn't a bad movie. I I enjoyed. Where is it? I I enjoy I enjoy Thor's dynamic with um with Jane Foster. That that's kind of a, a cool little romance they got going on. Um. I I always thought that Thor and Lady Sif were were a pair, mostly because our, my brother is like the big comic book guy. We had uh, two dogs. <laughs> one was named Thor, and one was named Sif. And this is like in like the early two thousands. Uh, rest in peace. They they they've both uh, passed on to. Uh, where, where, where do where do uh, the Thor where does Thor go when he die? Uh, not Asgard, but um, Valhalla. Yeah, they both passed on to Valhalla. Um. So I guess maybe it was just me that thought they were always in a relationship, but I could have swore in the books they were they were a pair of two. Because uh, how can how can you shack up with a mortal, you know? But she she eventually becomes like Lady Lady Thor or something like that. Because I, I I do see like there are comics with her on the cover like wearing Thor's helmet and stuff as as Jane Foster Thor. Um, so I'm not sure if we're gonna see her transform like that or not in the in the Marvel universe. So that could be cool. Uh, let's see. Let's. Uh, it's called the. Uh, he's called the, the God of Mischief after all. Yeah, he plays a trick or two. Uh, let's see. I love how you can't get away from calling it the Dark Brotherhood, dude. It literally sounds like it should be called the Dark Brotherhood. I don't know why, but it feels like that just naturally rolls off the tongue. <laughs> it's officially renamed. <laughs> 
Uh, let's see. Perry, you can watch the Mandarin one shot on YouTube. Ooh, I can. So that's part of Iron Man 3, right? I'm going to go ahead and, and, and type this in. Actually, real quick, before I do this, I know there's um, hold on, Marvel MCU Phase 3. Because I seen a cool picture when I was looking up. Because I, I, I was trying to look up a picture for Phase 2. Um, there was a picture of a little, like, god damn it, of Ant-Man. Let me see if I can find it now. I probably can't. Great. It's loading. Um, all right, you guys still can't see it. All right, we got... Here it is. Let me see if I can, if I can slide it over. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. No, stop. Don't do that. <laughs> slide up. Here it is. Our Ant-Man. This is really funny because... I guess this is the the trailer for Ant Man, right? Like the movie poster of is, is it the movie poster of Ant Man? Because it shows Ant Man super small on the Captain America shield, but we don't see Captain America in Ant Man that I know of. Do we see him in Ant Man? I don't think so. But in Civil War, when Spider Man yokes up his shield from him, Ant Man's on the shield. So it's almost like this is like um, showing what's to come in Civil War. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's just when I when I seen this and I, I grabbed this picture, I put it on my YouTube community tab because I was like, hey, guys, I'm going to watch these trailers on uh, on Twitch because I, I can't really watch them on YouTube. And I seen this picture. And when I was when I was typing it like that, just kind of like clicked in my head, which I thought was kind of funny. I, I don't know if it's if it's accurate or not, uh, but that's just a little observation that I, I figured out I would share with the class. Captain America uh, what was it? Winter Soldier. Yeah. Winter Soldier trailer one let's see uh those are just trailer caps i think it was probably taken down uh perry they took down the full one shot sadly it was like five plus minutes you could watch it on disney app um i, I gotta get my disney app information i don't even have my login uh you should watch a tribute to captain america bro Ooh, what's that uh let's see On the drop zone, Cap. You do anything fun Saturday night? Well, all the guys in my barbershop quartet are dead, so. <laughs> no, you know, if you ask Kristen out from statistics, she'd probably say yes. That's why I don't ask. Too shy or too scared? Too busy. I mean, was he a superhero? A no. No, he wasn't. Welcome to the party, pal. Hey, thanks for the follow join shield to protect people captain to build a better world sometimes means tearing the old one down and that makes enemies and he's he's like i'm so sorry for pausing this he was hydro right like he was he was like he was screwing with him the whole time the world to see you as you really are you look out the window you know how the game works disorder war all it takes is one step that was crazy we're gonna neutralize a lot of threats before they even happen thought the punishment usually came after the crime right how can you so punish people before they commit a crime ends, not as we'd like it to crazy be. this isn't freedom this is fear facts open before we get started do that elevator scene does anyone want to get out what a ball your work has been a gift to mankind you've shaped the century and i need you to do it one more time America, the Winter Soldier. So badass. Why would they put that in the trailer? Why would they put that in the trailer, dude? That was so freaking cool. Oh, man.
It would have been cool if he would have thrown it and right before he caught it, it just cut to this. Like not like let's not see him catch this. Oh man. Th this movie was awesome, dude. There were so many good points in this movie. I, I enjoyed it so much. There was one scene where they just showed where Captain America was walking by the bad guy and just just like <laughs> bitch slaps him with, with the shield in his head. Could you imagine being hit? How much that must hurt he must you must break some bones like flying back. That's insane, dude. And that elevator scene, crazy. I'm trying to think of so 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 this was the the pulling back of the curtain of shield where we're seeing shield not for what it is um but for what it actually is um just like hydra 2.0 just with a different face on it um right cuz that's mostly like there there are there are a lot of good people but there's like a lot of bad people and they happen to be the ones pulling strings and then kind of taking over there were so many good parts in this movie like when when Captain America was saying, hey, we can't do this. We can't let this happen. And the guy puts the gun to his head and he's like sitting there. He's like, uh, like, what do you do in a situation? Like, I always try to put myself in, in that person's shoes. And it's it's crazy to even think about a situation like that. Um, let's see. Uh, he was the leader of Hydra. He had the same power uh, as Nick Fury and S.H.I.E.L.D., um, which is crazy to think, you know, like, could you imagine? Because like whenever I think of Hydra, like I think of like like Nazis. I know you know like say that word right. <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble for saying that word, but like, could you imagine if like 60, 70, 80, 100 years later, like those people like they had kids and 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 then those kids had kids and they carried on that legacy for generations to generations and were able to get into like high points of power. Who knows? Maybe we have people like that today. I I don't know, but it's it's crazy that they were able to think about it. Now I I know in the comic books. Captain America was working for Hydra, but I guess he went like deep undercover to work for them. I don't know. I, I didn't read that story. I seen some panel art, and it looked crazy. Um, seeing him like y y rip off the star, and underneath is like the Hydra logo. Like what? Yeah, Perry, the DCU uh really wanted to copy Marvel and their tone. Ugh. Marvel DC is kind of dark. Like I, Marvel's a little bit dark. DC is kind of dark. You know, like. I'm sorry, DC. DC pissed me off. New comic book day. <laughs> I was gonna air out my grievances. New comic book day is Wednesday. Every Wednesday we go to the lo local comic shop and we get new comics. And DC is like, you know what? Fuck Wednesday. We're gonna release our books on Tuesday, and they ruined it for everybody now. Very upset with DC. Uh, let's see. Uh, the tone of characters should I let the characters be their own? The DC animated movies are excellent and they have mature i wish uh the, yeah dude they, they should dude they had um on the dc universe app they have tv shows swamp thing was kind of mature and very like hyper realistic and 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 dark amazing they had um titans which is like the teen titans and they were cursing it was dark it was gritty it, it looked like it was kind of low budget too but it was awesome. I don't understand why they released it. They had the Harley Quinn animated series, which has been getting nothing but crazy good praise. All these shows they're releasing on the app, they need to put this on like Netflix and, and HBO and, and the CW and, and get it out to a mainstream audience. Because this is like highlighting how good they could show DC characters. Because apparently the movies don't do it. <laughs> So I, I I would say definitely if you if you ever want to see some good DC content check out the DC Universe app or if you have HBO Max I know like Doom Patrol is coming Doom Patrol was phenomenal I thought that was, it it had a slow the first couple episodes were slightly slow and then it started to pick up and it, I I want the second season already um but yeah I, I'm I'm not too familiar with the movies I do want to watch the animated movies because I I do I do hear that that DC has a very solid animated movie background which is which is great because I, I could get into that i've been watching a lot of uh animes and it's been pretty good i i i can't i can't lie uh let's see captain uh winter soldier is definitely my top five mcu of all time i haven't watched it but so far it, it's pretty up there it's um i you know i want to sit down i want to see if there's already a list online of how to rank a movie because i want to get down and like actually break down a movie and rank it so I could have a proper ranking. I don't want to be like, oh, that one's cool, that one's cool, that one's cool, and then just pick up, pick like my top five. Welcome to the party, pal. Thanks for the follow. I want to like get down an actual reasoning behind the top five 
and like get in depth to it. I do the same thing with my comic books. I get like I try to get in depth with it and, and peel back layers of the onion and see what fits the criteria of like the top movie and which ones just missed the cut. Um, so I'm gonna try to like see if I could formulate a list like that. So when I'm done with Endgame, I could do like a massive live stream where I sit down and I rank Phase One, Phase Two, Phase Three, and then I rank them all as a unit. Um, that could be pretty cool. And I think every Saturday I'm gonna be doing a live stream, probably on YouTube, because um, it's a little bit more um, of the main audience who watches these reactions. Um, that way we can sit down and talk. I'm gonna try to bring in different people to get different points of views. Uh, mostly people who have read the comic books and seen the movies and, and people that I could trust not to spoil it. <laughs> I don't want to put like a random link out there and someone joins and is like, uh, Aunt May gets killed by Tony, you know? I hope not, dude. I hope not. <laughs> Most of the intelligence community doesn't believe he exists. Ooh. The ones that do call him the Winter Soldier. He's a ghost. You'll never find him. Marvel Studios. They join S.H.I.E.L.D. to protect people. Captain, to build a better world, sometimes means tearing the old one down. And that makes enemies. Oof. That's a cool shot. That, that, that is such a cool shot. Fast. Strong. Had a metal arm. Are you ready? All it takes is one step. So that's the guy who's in the other movies? The guy with the glasses? Again with this Captain shit. America needs my help. Ooh. Why are they gotta spoil we that? Start? We just did. This April. I was gonna freedom is high. And it's a price I'm willing to pay. You told me not to trust anyone. This is how it ends. Everything goes. That elevator scene. Looks like you're giving the orders now, Captain. You're right. Oh, they showed the final scene too. How do we know the good guys from the bad guys? If they're shooting at you, they're bad. <laughs> so true. Ooh. Yo, I didn't even realize that he did the same thing to Black Panther and um in Civil War. Black Panther came from him and he choked him too. And that's how he killed Tony's mother. Which is just crazy. Could you imagine seeing that in 3D, dude? Oh man, that must have been a treat. Oh man. I don't understand like one of the coolest parts of this movie that I really enjoyed was when he threw the shield and then he caught it and then he threw that shit back. Like, how do you <laughs> how do you include that in the trailer? <laughs> oh, man, that movie was great regardless. Let me see what some of the comments says. Uh, it's impossible not to love Captain America after this film. That's pretty true. And Samuel L. Jackson, dude, I felt like he became the ultimate badass in this after I seen, like, how he handled himself, how he faked his death, how he was still able to, like, keep S.H.I.E.L.D. underground and alive and kicking, even if it was only a few members. Party, Thanks for the sub. Um, what, what, what does subscribe mean? I don't understand. It said follow, now it says subscribe. I don't, I don't know Twitch lingo that good, but I'm learning. Uh, let's see. I'm so mad at myself that I wasn't a Marvel fan when this was released and didn't bother to watch it in the cinema, and now I have to live with that. Dude, me too. I feel that. I'm going to like that comment because that must have been cool. You know what they should do? They should release all the movies in the movie theaters. That's what would get people because we got COVID going on. I think at the end of all this COVID, moving towards the end of this year, AMC should have like the MCU screening like every Every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is a new movie, and they should do all the phases from phase one up until phase three. And then, then, then when they when they're done with all those, then they should like drop Black Widow. Welcome to the party, pal. Thanks for the follow. See what I mean? Sub and follow. I don't get it. But 
that would be awesome. That would be a great way to get people to go out of their house back into the movie theaters and then get them excited again for Marvel. You know? I don't know. I think that would be kind of cool. Um, <laughs> mostly because I want to watch it in the movie theater. Uh, that was in February, like, 2022. Oh. Well, happy early birthday from February 2022. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Also, in my opinion, the Civil War trailer was my favorite. Uh, the best trailer of the two, uh, in my opinion. Yeah, I, it's a cool trailer. Um, I'm very happy I didn't watch this before I seen the movie. Um, I, you know, I actually think I might not watch any more trailers. As in, like, if I'm going to go in and step into Phase Four, I don't know. I feel like I shouldn't watch Phase Four in the movie theaters. I feel like I should just wait for them to come on like DVD and do a reaction video. Cause I'm like, damn dude, so many people are invested in me watching MCU. Now it kind of be like a letdown if I'm like, all right, well I've, I've finished that game. So I'm going to watch the rest of them in the movies, you know, to the loo. So I think I might just wait <laughs> for the movies to come on DVD for phase four and then watch it that way. Uh, what was I going to do? Guardians of the galaxy trailer. Number f number one. Uh, here we go. Here we go. And here we go. Oh, that's from the start of the movie. You know, I didn't even notice. So the the very I'm sorry if I pause this. The very beginning of the movie, we see the Infinity Stone, but we just don't see it. Like that's what he has in his hand right now. That's crazy. I didn't even I didn't even put two and two together. No. Yeah. Hey, cool man. No problem. No problem at all. Dude, Peter Quill is so cool. If you ever want to read a book, Star Lord. Who? Well, Star Lord, man. <laughs> Legendary outlaw. <laughs> Forget it. Old man Quill. Only 12 issues. We Super quick read. Zandal, and it's check awesome. Out the rap sheets. Drax, a.k.a. the Destroyer. Since his wife and family were killed, he's been on a rampage across the galaxy in his search for vengeance. Gamora, soldier, assassin. Wanted Total on badass. Over a dozen counts of murder. Rocket, wanted on over 50 charges of vehicular theft and escape from lockup. What the hell? Groot. It's been traveling recently as Rocket's personal houseplant slash muscle. <laughs> yeah, when Groot put his Jason fingers in that guy's Hill. nose, oh my god. He's also known as Star Lord. He calls him that. Himself mostly. <laughs> he calls he himself that. Charges of minor assault, public intoxication, and fraud. Oh, I'm sorry. I I didn't know how this machine worked. This summer. I gotta say real quick before I go before we go any further. That was probably the best way I've seen to introduce new characters that, that people aren't too familiar with. That was really cool. Hey, hey, hey. You know, when he takes your, takes your headphones. You son of a bitch. Hey, take those headphones off right now. Yeah. the guardians of the galaxy you could have watched this one in 3d too all right this one to me felt like what a trailer should be you know like in the sense that we got new characters they explained them all without like well i mean it was kind of easy because i guess they were all in jail so you, you got you got to see them all kind of like all right this is prisoner what's his face and this is what he does this is another prisoner and then you just seen like a bunch of quick cut action scenes that you really couldn't put any story together. That was, that was cool. I I I I couldn't dig that. Uh, the best trailer of the two, in my opinion. Oh, that's a Civil War coming. Um, stay away from the comments. <laughs> in my country, uh, they're only showing MCU. Oh, in my country, they are showing old Marvel Cinematic Universe and Star Wars movie. Actually, that is awesome, dude. Where are you from? Where are you from? You, you got to have those people call AMC in America and be like, yo, 
We got the plan. <laughs> we know what to do. We know how to get people back in the movie theaters. Uh, Winter Soldier was so sick in the theaters and made great use of the sound and visuals. Dude, I could only imagine because when you go to the movie theater, you got like all that big sound behind you. It's so loud and it's all around you. Over here, I'm just hearing my headphones like, <laughs> you know. Uh, let's see. Uh, the 3D was uh, was only so-so. Uh, I learned to just see it in IMAX. I guess that's true. So IMAX is like they have like the bigger screen, right? I'm not sure exactly what IMAX is. I know it's like, hold on, what is IMAX? Exactly, let's see. What is the difference between standard IMAX? IMAX theaters have a dome circular and huge plain, and huge plain screens that almost cover the entire theater and make you feel like you're part of the film. All right, so that sounds pretty badass. <laughs> you know, like that sounds legit right there. That, that probably is the way to go. Uh, let's see, uh, phase four, uh, slate in order, Falcon Winter Soldier fall this year uh black widow november so i thought black widow was supposed to come out before falcon right yeah yeah i, I know they released bloodshot on on like video but that was gonna flop no matter what N nobody nobody wanted a bloodshot movie um i mean i guess there's like a hardcore fan base that maybe wanted it because they they do happen to sell issues and have that that fan base there i've never met one of those people but they they do have a fan base. I don't know why they would make a movie out of it. The Valiant Universe. Oh my lord! All right, let's see what uh the trailer number two has in store. A planet of outlaws. My name is Peter Quill. There's one other name you might know me by. Star Lord. Who? Star Lord, <laughs> man. Legendary outlaw. Every time, dude. He's Guys. like, who the hell are you, dude? Nobody knows who you are. Forget it. It, they did have a, a, a good amount of comedy in this movie. Oh, that must have been cool in like 3D, seeing him jump at you. So here we are. Thief, two thugs, an assassin, and a maniac. We're not going to stand by as evil wipes out the galaxy. I guess we're stuck together. Partners. Are you telling me that they have 12 billion people is in the hands of these criminals? Welcome to the party, pal! Yeah, so follow. Yeah. That was kind of sad at the end, seeing Groot go out like that. It's giving us a chance to do what? Something good, something bad, a bit of both. Oh, what the hell? I don't got that long a lifespan anyway. Bam. Oh, Bradley like Cooper as Rocket. They call themselves the Guardians of the Galaxy. This might not be the best idea. Awesome soundtrack on this on this Th This this is also pretty. Well, whoa, what is this? What is it? Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> this is a cool way because I I still couldn't pull out them portraying like the plot a lot. You know, like. Like we got, we got them explaining the characters. Like we got like two criminal, like two thugs. We got an assassin. Um, this guy. We're all stuck together, and the fate of the universe rises on our hands. But that's like a pretty like blanket statement. Like they could say that about like any movie, you know. So it's kind of like it's cool. It didn't really give away anything that really happened in the movie. I kind of like this trailer. So uh, these two trailers so far are like. I wouldn't mind watching these two trailers before watching the movie because it just leaves me wanting to know more without me knowing, like, oh, okay, I know this is going to happen. All right, let's see. Like, like when I watched Iron Man 3, like, all right, we know, like, Tony's going to get attacked and and the house is going to fall on him and he's going to go to the ocean and then he's going to, you know, like, 
this doesn't really show anything that really happens in the movie. It just shows like such quick cuts in between scenes. It just shows that it's action packed. Uh, let's see what, what what's the next one. Ooh, Age of Ultron. I enjoyed Age of Ultron. I know people said they didn't like it. Uh, let's see. Uh, Avengers: Age of was it Ultron? Yeah. <laughs> I do appreciate everyone hanging out with me, man. This is this has been pretty fun. Um, I, I probably would have gotten taken down on YouTube for showing all these all these videos already. Uh, and if we get taken down on Twitch, I just make a new account. <laughs> All right, let's let's go. Let's get it started, guys. I'm gonna show you. Wait, wait. I just want to make sure. Marvel's Age of Ultron. That's the one I seen, right? Hold on. I just want to. I just want to double check. I know I seen it, right? All right. Age of Ultron. Okay. Whew. I know I got scared for a second. <laughs> Something beautiful. Everyone screaming for mercy. You want to protect the world, but you don't want it to change. You're all puppets. Tangled in strings. Strings. His final form. That was cool seeing like Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. Crazy that he just died, you it's know? The end. the end of the path I started us on. Nothing lasts forever. Oh, the Hulk Buster. I mean, they didn't really need to show the Hulk Buster, right? Or Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. They didn't need to show them. In the trailer. But now I'm free. There are Oof. no strings on me. Avengers, Age of Ultron. May 2015. What was I doing in May 2015? I think I just moved into my house. I bought my house and then it had like Chinese drywall inside and I had to like gut the entire house and I had to wait like six months before I could move in. It was a nightmare. Um, like I said, I had other shit going on besides movies. Um, so Age of Ultron, real quick, the movie was dope. The movie started off action-packed we got the introduction of Scarlet Witch, Quicksilver. Uh, who else was in this movie? We got we got to see the Avengers at the end. Like we got to see the rest of. We've seen Falcon at the end. I know we've seen someone else at the end. Quicksilver could have been such a cool. Did did he die in the comic book? I don't know too much about Quicksilver. I know he was in X Men Evolution. That was a great animated show from like the early two thousands. I used to watch that a lot. But I don't know too much about Quicksilver. It's kind of crazy that. They would, they would like, cause he's like, he's like the Flash, right? So why would the Flash is like a pretty big character on DC? Why would you like throw away our version of or the Marvel version of the Flash? I guess that's what like in, in, empowered or enraged Scarlet, right? So like, all right, now shit's completely real. You just lost your buddy. You have no one else now. The Avengers are your family, right? I don't know. Let's see. Uh, didn't like how the they portrayed Ultron in the and as a more comedic, but in the trailer he was kind of creepy. He was very creepy in this trailer. I, I totally understand that point of view. Quicksilver died too quick. <laughs> Get it? Uh, but I think uh they'll come back now uh due to Wanda. Um, let's see. Ooh, can Wanda bring people back from the dead? Well, she is a witch, right? Uh, yes, I thought Ultron was more cold and evil. I think the the age of Ultron or the age of Ultron. The stakes seemed kind of forced and didn't quite flow in a, in a natural way. Uh, I felt like a good movie, but felt kind of rushed. I, I, I guess. I mean, I'm trying to think of like the movie itself. It, it kind of started off 
instantly with a battle, which I thought was cool. And then they had like that slow frame of all the Avengers rushing together as a team. It was kind of cool because the next movie we get is what? Is Ant-Man, right? So we see the Avengers and they're almost like working as a team right in the start, like they're unified. And then the next Avenger type movie is Civil War. And then we just get the destruction of them. So it's kind of cool. Um, I don't know. I enjoyed it. Um, this trailer, did, they didn't really show a lot. I mean, I can nitpick it and be like, hey, they shouldn't have put Hulkbuster in it because that would have been a cool reveal. Because, um, I, I mean, a lot, if you read comics, you know about Hulkbuster. I, I mean, I don't even read Marvel and I know about Hulkbuster. So that would have been cool to, like, see that in the theaters, like, for the first time. Like, holy shit. Like, yo, Tony's going at it with Hulk right now. <laughs> uh, but I I guess, like, that's part of marketing. Let's see. Someone says, I wish we got this version of the film. Dark, intimidating, far less joking, grounded like Winter Soldier. An MCU war film. Show the true power of Ultron. That's a pretty good comment. I like that. It's a good point of view. Uh, let's see. Ultron in the trailers. You want to protect the world, but you don't want it to change. You're all puppets tangled in strings. Movie Ultron. Clearly, you never made an omelet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. He wrote in like capital letters and, com and, and lowercase. That's, that's funny. I, I guess I can see that point of view. Um, and then what, what's the next one? The next one would be uh, Ant-Man. And then I got to wrap this up. Um, let's go Ant-Man. Oh, I still have, I have like a spinny wheel too. So real quick, let me go over here. Um, does that pop up? Yeah, yeah, so I have a spinning wheel. So these are all movies, and I'm going to spin it right before I leave. So that way we can see what's going to be my next movie that we watch. And yes, I have aluminum foil on my window. So that way I could watch content during the day, and it's dark. Because I can't watch like a movie that's horror. <laughs> and it's bright and sunny in here. That makes no sense, you know? So I, I, I pulled the trigger and bought aluminum foil, and I, I blacked out the window. <laughs> you can't say I'm not committed. <laughs> All right, let's make this one big. Uh, watch a Civil War trailer as well. Uh, yeah, I, I guess. Um, let's see. Watch a ride through the MCU action volume five uh, on YouTube. Let's see. Oh, was there was there a second trailer for Age of Ultron? Let's see, because I've been trying to look on like the right hand side. I don't think I've seen. I just seen the the. I don't think I've seen a second one. Let me see. Age of Ultron. I will put two. Let's see if it pops up. Oh, it is. Here, right. let's let's dive into it. That's cool. So that's showing like them trying to evacuate that city that's being made into a meteor. Need something more powerful than any of us. Everyone creates the thing they dread. Ultra in the flesh. No matter who wins or loses, trouble always comes around. So it was like more or less the same as the first one, except we didn't really hear a lot of Ultron talking. Um, like he did the puppet string in the in the other one. Uh, this is the the last thing. Uh, let's see, let's see, no, let's see. This is the last video. Someone passed away. I don't know who passed away. That's sad. All right, what's the next one? Ant Man, right? Ant Man number number two. No, Ant Man trailer one. Here we go. Ant Man. Ant Man. Nope, I keep pressing shift instead of enter. <laughs> Perry, do two MCU movies a week. I'm trying. Uh, I'm trying to like like even it out. I don't want to like. I don't know. I feel like. I don't know if I want to. 
I don't know. I, I kind of want to like. I don't want to make it so I'm watching so many Marvel movies, and then I'm like, all right, I don't want to finish it. You know, like I don't want to be like, all right, like if I would have binge watched the first two phases, I probably would have been like, all right, I'll, I'll give like phase three like a couple months, but I kind of spread it out like a, every week, and then I've been adding like I've been trying to watch like anime, something I've never really been exposed to too much. Um, trying to watch more like horror movies. Something I've also never been exposed to. Like, The Thing. Like, that shit was crazy. Um, I watched, like, the Alien franchise. So, I'm trying to watch, like, other movies to try to, like, balance out my viewing. So, like, I watched, like, a horror movie. And then I'm like, all right. Now I need... Let me let me watch a, let me watch a Marvel movie now. Like, it, it makes me want to watch a Marvel movie more. If that makes any sense. It probably doesn't. <laughs> uh, my dad and brother saw Doctor Strange without me. <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> Uh, right through the MCU. Uh, so yeah, it's see, uh, it's an overall trailer. Yep. Ouch. Sorry, guys. Um, definitely missed an opportunity. The only reason I went in 3D was because I saw something from Marvel saying, uh, 3D was important to the film. It was important for sales. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm seeing Doctor Strange 2 in 3D, hopefully, since he's my favorite. Is there, is there a Doctor Strange 2 is in phase four then, right? Uh, let's see. Actually, Norway uh, gets used several times at MCU. Does it really? That's kind of cool. All right, let's let's see Ant Man trailer number one. Imagine a soldier the size of an insect, the ultimate secret weapon. If you get out like ours, everyone is gonna be chaos. So how do we stop him? I know a guy. Oh, Scott, I've been watching you for a while. No, he You're can different. take a hit. And I believe everyone deserves a shot at redemption. That cell scene was awesome. When the ants brought him the the Absolutely. suit in the cell, My oh, that was so cool. Breaking into places and stealing stuff are over. What do you want me to do? I want you to break into a place and steal some stuff. <laughs> Makes sense. That's so funny, man. Well, you're gonna done with this. Become a hero. July 17th. Power. You have to learn how to control it. And these are your greatest allies. How kind of cute. Whoa. When you're small, you have superhuman strength. Like a bullet. So you need to know how to punch. You want to show me how to punch? Show me how to punch. Ooh. That's how you punch. <laughs> Yo, what a brat, dude. She punched him right in his shit. And he's like, here, hit me here. She just knocked him in his. Oh, man. You tried to she... hide your suit from me. Now, <laughs> she was so mad at him. up in your face and destroy everyone you care about. I know. It wasn't my idea. That was kind of cool how they spliced the two scenes together. That's not a bad introduction of him. Oh, that was cool how they made like the lettering small. Um, yeah, so that, I thought that was a pretty solid, like, introduction of Ant-Man. Like, we, we get it. He's a guy, he gets small, and then, oh, there's another guy, and he gets small, too, and they're gonna fight. And Thomas the Tank Engine is gonna be a casualty. <laughs> um, so it definitely, it definitely pulls out, like, all right, this is definitely gonna be, a, like, a humorous action movie. Um, I would assume if I was, like a child watching this this would probably be my favorite one because it seems like the most entertaining um i feel like that sounds bad to say that <laughs> i love this movie by the way i thought ant-man was dope i i i there's there's the other one ant-man and wasp i i want to watch that uh let's see and phase four uh is dr strange 2 all right 
uh, phase four Doctor Strange uh, in the multiverse of madness. Uh, that's what, dude. I'm so I'm so like there's Doctor Strange right there. I'm so like curious because Doctor Strange is the next movie I'm watching. I'm so like because I've never read a Doctor Strange series. I've seen him in books, but I've never actually dived into him and his exact power. So I'm I'm so interested to see how they're gonna like portray him in the MCU. Um, let's see. Oh, that's okay. I saw both Spider Man's on my dad and brother. <laughs> I also saw Endgame before my dad and brother. Uh, I can't wait for that Infinity War movie reaction. Yeah, when is Infinity War? That's that's in part three, right? I, I thought I've seen Phase One, Phase Two. I should have like a Phase Three. What what is my my viewing order? Here we go. So I watched Captain America: Civil War. I'm gonna watch Civil War. That should be out Friday. Ooh, Guardians comes out. All right, sweet. Um, Spider Man: Homecoming, which is dope. I. I I cheated. I watched Spider-Man um, Far From Home um, when it came out in the movie theaters, which I tried to like sit down and really think about what spoilers were in the movie. Um, Tony's dead. I know that. Um, but I mean, that's kind of like all over social media. So I was never going to avoid that. Um, that's it. That's all I got from that movie. Spoiler wise. So. I feel like I didn't do myself an injustice by watching that. I probably did. But uh, regardless, I'm still going to rewatch it and see how it like, see if there's things that I'm like, all right, this all makes sense now. All right. So then I got, let's see, Guardians. I got Spider-Man Homecoming, which is the first one. And then I got Thor Ragnarok. Um, I've seen a little bit of Thor Ragnarok. I was like sick with the flu and I put it on Netflix just to, just to watch something to fall asleep to. And I, I completely fell asleep. I don't want to blame the movie, but it was, I, I took NyQuil. Black Panther, I've never seen that. Um, Infinity War, so that's the Avengers, and then Ant Man and Wasp, and then another Infinity War, Part Two, and then Captain Marvel. So where's Endgame? I'm so confused. They're missing a movie, right? Uh, here we go. Dun -dun 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 -dun. So, so Endgame is is Phase Four, right? Hold on. Where's the chat? Uh, Doctor Strange is a cool character. Uh, Doctor Strange characters are ridiculous, and they don't really get into them in their movie. Uh, but it's good uh, intro for them. Uh, you shouldn't have watched Far From Home yet. <laughs> it was cool. I like Mysterio. I was like, you know what? I finally have an opportunity to go to the movies, and it, there happens to be like a, a Spider-Man movie playing. So I was like, all right, what the hell? Uh, uh, I don't need to hold on to the the Tony spoilers then. Uh, I mean, I, yeah, he he he's dead, right? Like we we got it. Tony Tony died. I seen the pictures of him on on. There's like memes on on Instagram. Like it's it's hard to like not see that, you know. <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two is better than the first. Uh, part Two is okay. So Infinity Infinity War Part Two is Endgame. Got it. Uh, let's see. Maybe change the search to Phase Three MCU, not Phase Three. That's that's true. I should probably do that. Smart thinking. <laughs> uh, all right. So yeah, these are all the. I know you guys can't see it. It's a little bit cut off. Uh, but so Infinity War uh, Part Two is Endgame. That make that makes sense, right? And then I guess this is gonna be like Phase the Secret Invasion Saga. Uh, Warlock, which I'm surprised we didn't see Warlock in Guardians of the Galaxy because I'm pretty sure Warlock is like the leader of the Guardians, so that's like super weird. Um, yeah, dude, that looks cool. Inf uh, cinematic Universe. Oh boy. It's hard not to. It's hard not to look ahead. Uh, let's see. Uh, Endgame is Infinity War Part Two, and then Far From Home is the last of Phase Three. All right. Uh, it's funny how we we never got the Inhumans movie. Um, let's see. Strange is awesome in Infinity War. Watch Civil War trailer. Uh, oh yeah, Civil War trailer. Let's see. Buck. So that was the end credit scene to Ant Man. Your mom's name is Sarah. You used to wear newspapers and your shoes. You're a wanted man. I don't do that anymore. Well, the people who think you did are coming right now. And I'm not planning on taking you alive. Great many people see you as a hero. There are some 
We prefer the word vigilante. We've operated with unlimited power and no supervision. That's something the world can no longer tolerate. I don't know how much fucking is here. What a major dilemma this movie is. Stay out of this Like, picking sides. Please. I get it, I get it. I, I'm all on cap, but I see both you sides. you'll arrest me? There will be consequences. It plays like a good, like, moral and ethical question, you know? You seem a defensive. Well, it's been a long day. If you can't accept limitations, we're no better than bad guys. That's not the way I see it. Sometimes I want to punch you in your perfect teeth. Man, I just want to make sure we consider all our options. Because people that shoot at you usually wind up shooting at me too. You know what's about to happen. Do you really want to punch your way out of this? What do we do? We fight. Dude, that's crazy how he's like paralyzed, dude. So was I. Dude, this end scene. Oh my god. I don't understand why the hell they put this in the trailer. What the hell? <laughs> what? Why would they do that? Wow, that was nuts. I do have to start wrapping this up. Let me let me switch over to my, my main screen. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't understand why they would put because that was one of the coolest scenes. Seeing seeing Bucky and Cap go at it with iron man i'm just happy they didn't show iron uh captain putting his shield into iron man's chest because that would have just been why would you spoil that <laughs> uh anyway um i'm gonna go ahead and let, let, let's see let's let's open up the wheel real quick i'm gonna go ahead and spin it let's see whatever whatever let's see if i can make this a little bit bigger All right, let's see. Wh whatever movie this lands on, that's going to be the next one I'm going to watch. Um, I'll probably watch it tonight, and then I'll watch Doctor Strange tomorrow. Let's see. Spin it. What does that say? Blade Runner. So that's um, that's like an 80s movie. Let me, let me, let me write that down. I got I to gotta write. Hey, Siri, can you remember Blade Runner? Boom. That that's all right. So that's gonna be one of the next ones I watch. If you haven't watched it, well, then you can watch it with me. <laughs> anyway, uh, if anyone's from Twitch that hasn't seen me on YouTube, actually, um, my YouTube link should be in the description. And anyone who came from YouTube over to Twitch, thank you guys. You guys are awesome. Um, this was dope. I had a fun time. It was about like what two hours, just about right. Uh, hour and fifty minutes. Twenty six people. Are uh, the new Blade Runner or the old one? The old one. I never seen any of them, so I'm gonna watch the original one. Then I'm gonna watch the new one. So that should be dope. Uh, let's see. Uh, the fight in Civil War in theaters was so epic. Dude, I can imagine. That must have been awesome. I had my friend TK. He does the morning show with me. And he said he went with like his entire family. And there was like 15 of them. And they all read comics. And they all lost their freaking minds in the movie theaters. Um, but yeah, so um, if you haven't checked out the, uh, the the YouTubes, make sure to check that out. Um, I did an interview today with a comic book artist. That was kind of cool. I've been trying to do like a little bit of podcast format. That way you guys can listen to something while you like wash the dishes or like playing video games or something in the background and um yeah i think i might do a little bit of twitch streaming when i get like a, a better battery so that way i could or maybe i use like a regular webcam that plugs into my, my computer so i can play more video games and uh just hang out if anyone wants to hang out and chat anyway i appreciate everyone who came here to hang out and see you guys later